What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And we're just going to do a quick training guide on Donadoni here. AC Milan, 93 to 94. That is the player card that we have here on display. And he goes to a 94 overall as a right winger, right? So a couple of people have been asking me about him. To be honest, I pretty much thought he was kind of a self-explanatory kind of winger to train up. Now, he does have a couple of unique player skills that you are going to find hard to replicate across, you know, alternative players. I mean, number one, he's got unwavering form. Number two, he's on going to be locked on B rating all the time. And then number three, he's got some excellent player skills, like really, really, really good player skills for a winger, right? And he can kind of do it all. I always like a winger that can play as a left mid or a right mid because it means you can train him a little bit different than you would and play him a little bit different, especially with the way the gameplay is at the moment. That out wide and possession is a very, very, um, you know, dominant play style that you can really use now at the moment. And this guy has got everything that you could possibly want because when you train up his finishing or you train up his passing, it is complemented by those player skills, right? You've got one touch pass, true passing and pinpoint crosser. He's also a, a trickster, amazing run and incisive run AI style player. So that means that he's going to be making some lovely dart and runs into you. Um, and he is a prolific winger. Now, if you are playing him through the middle or if you are playing him, you know, um, left or right midfield, it is going to be a different style that you're going to be training him up. So we're going to train him up this way. And then we're going to show you two alternatives. We're going to have the outright winger. We're going to have the most um, recommended one that I would think. And then we're going to show you a couple of alternative players as well. So firstly, we are going to take a look with 31 levels to train up. We are going to go over to eFootballDB here and take a look at his main prolific winger, outright winger card, right? So 31 levels. And all we're going to be focusing on here is to get to that holy tripod of stats, that holy trinity of stats, 90 dribbling, going to go up with the balance as high as we possibly can. We're only going to be able to get that to 80. Even if we max that out, it's only going to go to 85 with 98 acceleration, which is a little bit too much. So we can kind of go to like maybe 83 offensive awareness, 82 balance and 95 acceleration. And then the rest is going to go on to passing, which gives us 80 passing. And then four onto that, that gives us 79 speed and 79 uh, stamina. We don't need speed and stamina if we're playing him as a winger. All we need is dribbling, balance, acceleration, and being able to have a bit of a difference. And you can mix and match. If you are using a winger, it depends on your play style. You know, you could have 75 low pass, which is more than enough with that one touch pass player skill. And then you could have six shooting or maybe, you know, bring it up to 75 overall if you wanted to do that. Um, that is a fairly decent all round card. But because we are looking at a training guide for a player that's going to be just a complete winger, we are going to be just really, really overcompensating um, on, you know, the speed and the skill and that this guy is going to have on the ball. So I do think that that is probably the best route to go with him. You know, max out his acceleration, get that balance and the offensive awareness as high, high as you possibly can with 15 into dexterity, 10 into dribbling, and 5 into lower body. That's a very solid winger, especially with the player skills that you have and the fact that he's going to be on B form for the foreseeable as an epic player, right? Now, if you are going to be looking at a player like this and you're thinking, do I spin for Donadoni? I personally think that he's kind of a hard sell compared to Maldini and Pirlo. And here's why. We're going to take a look at Rafael Leao. So this guy is just his standard card. Now, obviously, you know, the big time Leao doesn't even come into this because he's too powerful. But this guy goes to a 92 overall. This is just standard Leao from AC Milan. He's on A form. He's having a fantastic season. Um, and, you know, Konami usually do like to kind of train him up uh, very well this way. So, um, or to have him on the good form. 170,000 GP. He's extremely good. Now, this guy is an outright winger. You're not going to be getting a lot of crosses into the box. He is. He does have double touch, but he doesn't have one touch pass. So it's not a like for like, and obviously with the form as well. But you've got a lot of players like this that you can kind of slot into this situation, especially if you're just looking for a 4-3-3 type winger that's going to really be not getting back at all. And you can see his stats here, 95 dribbling, 89 balance, 96 acceleration, and 88 speed. So it's kind of a like for like for Donadoni, right? Now, if you are going an alternative route and you're looking, which I think is the best card here, is a balanced kind of Donadoni, right? Somebody that you can kind of do pretty much a little bit of everything, kind of like a Swiss Army Knife style right midfielder, um, kind of left midfielder, wherever you want to play him, using sub tactics and stuff. He's a very unique card, especially with double touch and one touch pass and also long range shooting skills that you see here and then true passing and pinpoint crossing with outside curler. So you can kind of like 
really ramp up that and just have him as a very, very solid player. You know, 90 dribbling, we're still going to get that with 85 ball control. We're also going to get 90 with acceleration. Not worry balance and offensive awareness too much because he's going to be playing a little bit more deeper. He's not going to be just an outright offensive player. He will be getting back. But we do need to upgrade his stamina a little bit better if we are going to be doing that. And that is kind of a more well-rounded version of him, right? We still have one uh, point there that we can pop in if we want to go that way. But straight away at that, you've got 80 pass, 75 uh, finishing 90 dribbling 90 acceleration and 83 speed and stamina it's a very solid player but then again we do have somebody like Salah who is in a similar position to that he's got better finishing he's got better passing when you train up his passing if you want to go to that 80 mark you want Salah to be that kind of like right-sided player that if you are playing him in a very advanced role you could go for somebody like Demaria with the crossing ability but if you want a shooting um, kind of like right-sided player like Donadoni he does fall into that little gap of not really being, you know, a master of any trade. He's just kind of like a jack of all trades with Donadoni's stats there. Now, his player skills are insane, but somebody like Salah, if you wanted to blow the boat on him, you are going to get a card that's extremely good, um, that has pretty much everything that you could possibly want in him apart from the passing. You know, you don't need to go too far on the passing if you are going to be playing that route, but you could also take somebody like Demaria, who's going to be a player that kind of, again, he has that, you know, passing ability, he has all those stats that you could possibly want, and he's going to excel in all those stats that you could possibly want to match up with Donadoni, he doesn't have the blister and pace, obviously, um, but, you know, you are getting all those player skills, you're getting outside curler, you're also getting pinpoint cross, one touch pass, and he can play in a multitude of positions, so, yeah, I definitely think Donadoni is a kind of a unique player, if you spin from in your pursuit of Pirlo Maldini, brilliant, but, for me, I don't think he's he's really worth it. Um, even though he can play a lot of positions and he's got a really nice card. Um, yeah, that is kind of how I would train him up. So you do have your kind of all-round version of him and then you have your wing version of him. But there are better alternatives for both player cards. So yeah, that's just my opinion on him, lads. I will be back in a bit. Peace.